Greetings, my name is Jeff Eastwood. I am the lead elder at Grace Baptist Church in Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island. I, along with my fellow elders, have been watching the development of uh, Bill C-4, previously Bill C-6, for over a year. Uh, when Bill C-6 was first proposed, uh, we read it and uh, certainly uh, were on board with a desire to prevent people uh, from being unnecessarily um, coerced uh, or certainly harmed in any way. And so we shared the same concerns about uh, a narrow definition of conversion therapy as our parliamentarians uh, do. Uh, as with the conversion therapy uh, prohibitions here on the island provincially and now uh, federally, uh, we have not participated in this as a church ministry through counseling or otherwise and would not do so in the future. However, as we read through the bill, we had concerns because of the broad nature of the language. And so we have participated with the Freedom Summit, uh, with other uh, uh, pastors and other organizations across our nation to try to gain some clarity. Rather than gaining clarity, uh, it seems that uh, the drafters of the bill have doubled down. Uh, the language is even more broad. And for the first time that I'm aware in Canadian jurisprudence, the word myth has been used in a legal statement which essentially then in the preamble to this bill calls what we as Bible-believing Christians, along with others of other faiths, uh, believe as it regards to human sexuality and gender as myth. And so our freedoms of religion are actually being challenged by uh, this bill. And so we do certainly have uh, concerns. And so a number of pastors, religious leaders from across our nation have come together and are going to read a statement publicly uh, we want to participate in that and support that. Many of our brothers are going to be doing this uh, and sisters uh, on Sunday, uh, Sunday, January the 9th, uh, 2022. And yet in our desire to make sure that we separate uh, the pulpit and the proclamation of the gospel from uh, anything that is political, uh, we decided to do it this way. And so today, January 7th, 2022, uh, this uh, bill, now Bill C-4, becomes law. It is now the law of the land uh, in our nation, and uh, so in light of that, we wanted to publicly read this statement. Bill C-4, National Statement for Bible-Believing Churches. This past week marked a monumental change in Canadian law and society with the enactment of Federal Bill C-4, which amends the Criminal Code. The law's stated purpose is to outlaw conversion therapy. We strongly oppose the coercive and unscientific therapeutic practices the bill was introduced to address. We appreciate and affirm the desire of parliamentarians to protect the vulnerable. However, we are deeply concerned that the effective reach of the legislation could be extended far beyond its stated purpose. Because its definition of conversion therapy is vague, many are concerned that it could capture parents, pastors, and counselors who teach a biblical understanding of sexuality in a variety of situations. The Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms guarantees our freedoms of religion, conscience, thought, belief, expression, and association. It is our prayer that this law will be applied and clarified as needed in such a way as to honor these charter protections. We recognize that the greatest danger facing the Canadian church is not that we might face criminal prosecution, but rather that we might compromise in our teaching of the word of God or fall silent in our proclamation of the gospel. Along with church leaders of like conviction across Canada, we pledge that we are committed to obeying God above all others, Acts 5.29. With the Lord's help, we will continue to proclaim the whole counsel of God, Acts 20.27, 20, without fear or favor. This includes God's life-giving design for human beings, made in his image, male and female, Genesis 1.27, with sexual intimacy reserved for the covenantal union of a man and a woman, Genesis 2.24. We will continue to issue the call to repent of all kinds of sin and to believe the gospel, knowing that we all have all sinned, Romans 3.23, and that salvation through Jesus is the one true hope for the world, Acts 4.12. We will continue to love and serve all the people in our community without distinction in Jesus' name. As we press on in the work of ministry, we will trust our Heavenly Father to guard us and keep us and to work out his greater purposes for our good and his glory. We continue to pray for our government and to plead with the Lord to have mercy on our needy land. Thank you.